Good morning, it's the 9th of June and it's 9 o'clock. Um, unfortunately yesterday's video didn't work in terms of it wouldn't upload so I recorded it but didn't seem to go up. Um, I tried several times but um, Screen-O-Matic didn't uh, seem to want to do it. Anyway, I'm going to start on the euro dollar and try to explain what I was doing yesterday on the weekly um, looking for long term longer term levels and then trading them on short term time frame so looking for weekly levels and then trading them on the daily as you can see nothing's been hit so far and then I've been down to the hourly to find levels to trade it on the 15 minutes so Yesterday's supply level I identified as this level because of this strong push down off here. However, this was the top of the move, um, so it can easily be another level of supply. And it also looks like it on the four hour chart. Um, and we can see that we've had a reaction off it this morning. And the issue is how to get in on it, how to get in on the move. I'm thinking that the 50 minute is really how I want to get in and there's something that I read recently by Brian Holliman who keeps the blog can't remember what it's called um, I'll put it in the subject matter um, and he was saying how if you get in on breakouts you're going to get all the losers and some of the winners sorry pardon me if you get in on pullbacks you're going to get all the losers and some of the winners but if you get in on breakouts you're going to get all the winners and some of the losers and i can completely relate to that i hadn't heard that saying before apparently it's a well-known saying i've got no problems in saying i hadn't heard of it um but um my thinking was that instead of getting in on the pullback, I'd get in on this on the breakout of a fractal. So on the 15 minute, price pulled back into here, and then when price broke below the last fractal low, that's a breakdown. So I would put my enter there. Well, it's not, it's not part of my yawn and my profit targets down here. So that would be that was the general idea, and um, I quite like the idea of that. On the euro yen weekly, no, nowhere near a level, so I'm not looking for anything there. On the hourly, initially marked this one yesterday as the supply area with a strong push down. However, uh, this was the top of the move, and there was a strong push down, and it's fresh as well relatively fresh despite that test there and that's worked well as well so going to the 15 minutes this would have been the setup buying the breakdown of the last fractal low so that was the entry here so I would have set a sell limit there and put my stop up there and that would have made a good risk reward ratio on the pound on the weekly um, it has tested this but this was two weeks ago so um, if anything I'm really waiting for one of that level or that level to get hit so nothing is what I'm trying to say it sets up so went straight down to the hourly this was yesterday's level I like this one because of this strong push down here However, this one seems to have triggered this level more here with, with this consolidation to drop and it's fresh-ish. <laughs> it's been tested a few times. Um, but it's reacted very hard and strong off here. And again, the same principle, entry principle, would have been used where I would have been shorting below the low of the last fractal low. So here and that what we can clearly see would have been a great profit target already so oh not even as good so it's still plus two so that's still nice and the euro yen weekly is edging up towards this supply level but hasn't hit it yet um so from down straight to the hourly to get some 
action and really nothing for me here um, I guess that this might be a level happening here um, I'll even look at the four hours to try and get my bearings a bit but um, no uh, there's nothing there for me yet um, supply it's going to be more like here and finally for the yawn again and then a demand is probably going to be down here I think there was this consolidation to rise, but it's been tested already. So, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, really. Um, that's pr uh, so possibly looking for a short around this level here, maybe on the lower that fractal. Uh, but yeah, that, that's it, really. Um, that's the plan today. Is actually there isn't one because a lot of trades have been triggered. So I think the plan today really is sit and wait um, for another level to be tested I've missed the entries um, I've woken up late so I'm like, um, the same the whole time but I've woken up late so so I've missed some trade so I think I'll leave you for today but um, it's, uh, um, it's nice to see that this potential entry on fractal breakouts is a possibility particularly on smaller time frame and it's nice to see that the levels that I am identifying are yesterday's didn't work but I could, could I completely saw that this was there it's just looking for the next one the most recent one yesterday and this would have been the most recent one today so I'm liking that I'm seeing the right levels is what I'm trying to say anyway uh, I'll leave it there and hope you have a good day